How's it going everyone? It's Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we're doing a very special ration. This particular one is a Norwegian Arctic field ration and this particular menu is chicken and lime. Now, these are freeze dried. They're very hard to come by and if you guys are interested in buying one of these, our good friends at MRE Zone sent us this. So go over and check them out. I'll put the link in the description. And without any further ado, jump into this thing. This has a best before date of 12 28 2018. This particular one is produced in Norway in Norway by Dry Tech. So a little bit different. And this one includes also has English on it too by the by the way here. Uh, chicken and lime and it has in parentheses soy. Then it's dried fruit, protein bar, egg milk, soy, black currant drink, energy drink, uh, dark chocolate, almond milk, nuts and soy. I guess a lot of this stuff soy in it. Um, steak bar, gluten, chewing gum, soy. I don't know what that means. It's actually soy. I guess it does. Uh, coffee, vitamin tablet, disinfection swab, spoon, and a Ziploc bag. All right, so let's get her open. I should be able to tear this open, I guess. We'll see. Oh yeah, no problem. We have our dark chocolate, dark chocolate bar. Man, I don't know what the deal is today. Can't talk right. Um, so here we have our black currant drink. This is Regia. Probably not pronouncing that correctly, but right there it is. Moving on. We have raisins. We have our disinfectant swab or moist towelette, as you will. We have free dries into instant coffee polar mill. We have some chewing gum, spearmint. We have our multivitamin tab. We have a protein bar toffee. We have our main. And it says right there, chicken and lime. This is a real field meal. It should be pretty decent. It should be something a little bit different kind of anxious to get into it then we have a good old Jack Link's peppered steak bar we have a very large shovel so you can shovel this stuff right into your face as fast as possible we have energy drink and make sure Let's see what it even says mix of 300 mils of water taste of peach be good we have our ziploc bag and that my friends is all that's in this ration and on the back of this main we have a production of 223 2016 so it's going to be a 2016 meal more than likely we just don't know for sure and this is best before of february 2021 so like anything else freeze dried has a very long shelf life and you always want to make sure on these there is no air in the bag and there is not it is still perfectly sealed okay so i mixed our two drinks up we're going to go ahead and rip this off it has two tear lines and a ziploc it has a tear line on the front uh, for mix and on the bottom for eat so we're going to go and tear it on the mix Nice vacuum seal on that still. And there we are. That looks very interesting. I see chunks of rice. Doesn't smell like much of anything yet. However, however, we have some boiling water here. We're gonna go ahead and mix it up. It has a line right there. We're gonna fill it too. Make sure we Get this done right. It looks like we're right there. No problem. So let's go ahead and mix it up. Holy, some tough plastic on the old spoon there. Mix it up. We're gonna mix the corners up. Get all that done. And this is a standalone bag. Holy. All right. Well. 
The spoon didn't fare out too well. So we're gonna put that right there. We're gonna grab our other spoon and have our drink. We're gonna keep on mixing. And it looks like we need just a little bit more water in this one, but not too much. Because you get too much, and then you have soup. All right. So make real sure to get all those corners and all that stuff mixed up good. I think I'm gonna do just a little bit more. It's still pretty dry in there. And that actually looks really good. Okay, I'm not fooling around. There we are, has a nice, almost like a chicken stock, chicken broth kind of smell to it. We're gonna zip that up. We'll let it set for a little bit. We'll be right back. Okay, so let's go and jump into this other stuff here. Let's go and undo the raisins. Whoa. There we are. They look like they're kind of shriveled up a little bit. You believe there we are showing their age just a little bit getting a little bit sugary but not bad that's pretty normal for almost any ration as raisins or even dried cranberries talk a bar like always been resting this knife Links in the description from my Amazon store. It is very inexpensive and very effective. There we are. Nice dark chocolate. Look at that thing. Yeah. And our protein bar toffee flavored. Kind of has a toffee glaze. Oh, that smells very odd. It smells like uh, like sunscreen. <laughs> In a good way, it smells kind of like a coconut kind of smell to it. Almost fruity. Our Jack Link's beef jerk, we had this here in the States. There we are. And doesn't really say a particular flavor, just peppered uh, pepper steak bar, pepper flavor. All right, look at that. A little stinky, a little bit, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit of garlic on that. Our disinfectant swab. Pull that out. Definitely uh, is very wet too. Similar to the US ones, very thin. On these, you barely touch them. They'll rip. Ooh, it's actually dripping. Okay, let me put that. Not where it's on the table. It's gonna run her backdrop. Get her towel, wipe that off. Disinfectant wipe is almost too wet. It's pretty rare. Multivitamin tab. Well, sure, why not? It's like a big um, ibuprofen. Go ahead and take that. We'll try our peach energy drink with this. It smells very peachy, but not too artificial. It still smells within normal range of Vitamin tab is gone. That's peach drink is really good. We mixed her a little bit thick. They call for 300 mil. This is a 300 mil glass or around about there. It's not quite all the way full, so about 250 mil. That's a very, 
very good drink, very sweet. Okay, so I think at this point, we are ready for this guy. It's been sitting about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and just check it out here. It looks like we are good to go. Rick had a pretty big clump. It is a little bit dry right in the center of that. We'll go ahead and mix that up just a little bit. Maybe we'll go ahead and doctor the rest of it up here. A little trickle of water, not too much. And we will let that sit over here. There we are. We'll save that for later. So here we have some red pepper, some rice, some chicken, a little bit of everything in here. And like I said, we are just a little bit dry right in the center. So let's try it. Ladies and gentlemen, the chicken lime. Hmm. Actually it tastes very good. Slightly spicy. A little bit of crunch on that rice still. It's not rehydrated quite all the way. But I mean, for my purposes, that's perfectly fine. I don't care. Almost like a... Almost like a highly seasoned stovetop dressing. All right, so we're going to cleanse our palate with our black currant drink. This looks very nice and very rich. If you haven't had black currant, most of the people in the U.S. have not. It's not a very common item here. Uh, it's very tart. Oh, it's absolutely perfect. The closest thing we have here to that is maybe like a cranberry juice. This has a little different aftertaste than cranberries. but a similar tartness to it. It's supposed to be very good for you. Those two drinks are absolutely outstanding. Very, very nice. Moving on, let's jump into our Jack Link bar. Very peppery. And that, my friends, is definitely a Jack Link's bar. Tastes like when you get here in the store or the gas station. All right, moving on to this Toffee Energy Bar. Let's take just a bite out of it and see. It is very dense, very sticky. It does have a tropical kind of taste to it. Maybe some coconut, different things in it. Almost like a coconut oil, like a sun tanning lotion kind of smell to it. Let's see here, yogurt powder, chicory root, skim milk powder, milk protein coating. Yeah, I don't know, it's got quite a bit of stuff in it. All right, let's clean our palate with this coffee. And this was the Colombian coffee. It's not too dark, it doesn't smell very bitter. It doesn't taste bitter at all, actually. It's very nice. Very nice and smooth. It doesn't have that in-your-face offensive taste like a lot of the U.S. coffees do. A lot of other countries have the same kind of coffee. They're just harshly bitter. And here we're going to try a piece of chocolate. It smells very sweet. A lot sweeter than your average Emory chocolate. Hmm. That's a very nice chocolate. A very sudden change from what we usually get in these. I'll go ahead and hit the raisins just one more time here. Get a little handful. Crank open our gum here. 
like a chiclet. I drink coffee, get those raisins out of her mouth. All right, here we go. The gum is actually very mild. It's just totally different than what you buy here in the store. It's more of a natural flavor than just the in-your-face, hardcore mint or spearmint. So yeah, I don't know. Overall, this is a really good meal. Now, granted, the main could have said a little bit longer, had a little more water. But that's fine. That's what you deal with, the dehydrated stuff or freeze-dried stuff. You just have to uh, basically add to your taste and whatever works. So that's going to be all, my friends, for the Norwegian Arctic Field Ration, the chili lime. Give it a 9 out of 10. Like I said before, if you're interested in this, the link will be in the description. And thanks again to MRE Zone for sending us this. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.